people! Hey everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video episode, we will talk about how to create a cool landing page and a web page with the help of the YouTube service. To be honest, I adore this service. This is one of my favorite website builders because here I don't need to use any uh, coding skills. I don't need to have any tax skills, design skills. So actually, it does 70% uh, um, tasks uh, then you need to do it by yourself so actually uh, I wish you a good uh, mood with me uh, with the service UK I'm waiting for your likes I'm waiting for your shares and let's get down to our work and of course all the useful links will be in the description you could uh, actually it's a website builder which is used to launch and manage small businesses website and other types of projects for personal and commercial use so actually this system has gained worldwide popularity due to its amazing simplicity that does not compromise with quality and professional web design approach so this is an indispensable solution for new buys and new design pros willing to establish professional web presence for their businesses so actually this website builder will work great for all the representatives of startups, of small businesses, even medium businesses I would say. Uh, and actually for people who lack web design experience and don't wish to pay enormous sums of money to web studios. And key point of UKIT service is that you don't have to master programming basics to work with UKIT. Um, I mean, the system is simple, the system is very flexible and it completes around 70 or even 80 uh, percent of work on its own. So actually there are no layout design, style charts, Photoshop and other daily issues most web developers encounter here. Yeah, frequent updates make this service more convenient and functional. So before you... So before you actually proceed to the website development process, you need to sign up for the platform. Um, fortunately, the website builder provides easy, fast and hassle-free registration procedures, so it's possible to choose from uh, two sign-up options here. The first one implies to uh, the use of your social account, if you have, of course, in case if you have uh, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, Google, and the second registration option is to fill out the sign-up form providing your email email and password info. Upon uh, actually the completion of this step, you will be offered to confirm the registration by activating the link available in the email. So right after that, you will be redirected to the template selection, what we got right here. Yeah, and you need, uh, you need to pick one of the templates that you uh, need to work with. And of course, on uh, the left side here, we have many categories. I would say these are specific categories. In case if you are the owner of, I don't know, uh, if you have a game company or IT service, so you have, for example, this opportunity to absorb what uh, actually templates we got right here. And actually, let's start from the preview of design. Yep, I adore preview because it shows me actually the uh, structure of uh, the landing page or a website. So basically, I may observe it. And if I don't like it, if it's not, uh, I would say it doesn't suit my needs uh, or needs of my customer, I go back and I'm searching uh, the other template. But I assure you that this template is very nice uh, and we don't have any time to redesign it at all each element but first of all we need we may change uh, actually color scheme yeah but I lo love pink one and actually right here we have um, the opportunity to absorb um, the, the versions you have the desktop uh, this is the tablet one. We have two modes uh, right here in horizontal position and vertical position. Yep, so you may play around with all this one to check. So it shows you in future how it will look like in your devices. And to be honest, it's pretty cool because I love playing around with all this stuff. And this is the main advantage, I would say, because nowadays should be uh, the adaptive designs because you don't um, hold your laptop top 24 hours per seven but you holding uh, always in your arms 
each person has a smartphone. So uh, the adaptive designs, of course, they should be for a smartphone. And of course, we will uh, choose the design after uh, it shows us that we need to uh, put a random or uh, we have an opportunity to create a temporary domain name here on a randomly generated one. But I propose you to make it after designing process. Uh, because it doesn't, I would say, we, we don't need to hurry, so um, you just need to do this uh, after finishing process of the template, of course. And finally, you will see the website editor where you can click the blocks, experiment with the images, make color combinations, integration of new elements. So all in all, it takes around several minutes to explore and master the editor that consists of your uh, of four sections. They are just right here and we will talk about them. Uh, so actually, uh, it includes design a tool, builder tool, pages tool and adaptive side view so uh, let's review these pictures so first one we have side pages and actually shows us how many pages we have right here this is the menu we can add pages yep and I can say that due to this tool uh, you can complete uh, actions with these pages for example you can first of all add new pages uh, you may uh, change the order change the position of pages in menu uh, you can add it web content so basically you may simply navigate between these pages, um, duplicate them, fill out meta tags to remove existing ones. So all the elements you add to the web pages can be additionally set up. So you can change inner block composition, choose visual, visual design options, the number and format of displayed elements in the background. Uh, the next one is, of course, uh, the builder. And working with the builder is my favorite part because here we can simply drag and drop each element element just right here for example we can add the gallery right here yep uh, and wait a second here we have a gallery but i will add mm, i don't like it I, I would say it's too uh large gallery just wait a second no i will do it this way yep and talking i would say about um the images yep i will just uh, make this uh, free. I would love to gallery these three images. And by the way, you may add images from the library, you may buy them in stock. Uh, yep, uh, you may change the number of columns. So actually, you may uh, work, play around with all these things. So uh, basically, uh, the widgets mode, yeah. So um, you need to understand what are widgets. So actually, widgets they are functional elements. They are added to website pages by simply dragging. There are many of them just here, such as pasting icons, uh, text, uh, images, galleries, uh, spoilers, timelines. So uh, even you have a Google search, live chat, social bars, yeah. So you can also ready-made block. Uh, use this ready-made block combinations required to complete a certain function such as header, footer, specifications, products, context, portfolio, and others. So actually, builder tool, um, this is drag and drop editor, yep, and we use this mode um, as the major website editing methods right here, yep, so uh, actually uh, we adding blocks, we removing them, we changing, we repositioning them, so uh, you can um, actually all uh, the actions they are visible in online mode and a design mode right here as we see so actually it's responsible for um, the main um, the main visual components I would say um, color scheme um, background of the side if you would like to add and of course a font pairs yep you may play around with them so basically um, 
design mode uh, actually lets you change your website design by choosing the color scheme as I said fonts background of a website uh, so it's additionally it makes sense uh, to work and don't forget to work with the design mode I know that there are not so many things to play around right here but it's also very important yep and um, I would say the UK uh, it's one of the best visual editors it's very simple and all the steps here can be completed with a few clicks only so that's why i decided to make observing tutorial video for you it's very impressive uh, because it's uh, possible to start a ready-made website in one or two hours yep by simply dragging the elements from the control panel to website pages as well as by creating adjusting content block positions yep uh, so all the elements you can pick and add to the page um, have detailed setting and it's possible to separate design options on edit block content for many of them so these are the major things that why I decided to make observing video about UK and uh, talking uh, about uh, a web page I would love to talk you actually how to build um, a cool website or a landing page and what it, uh, what should what it should have I would say yep what elements let's start from the basics uh first of all it should be a logo don't forget to put the logo of course it uh, depends on do you like it do you have this logo uh it's optional but it should be uh, the next one should be uh, uh, a menu section and of course don't forget to use social networks yep um, uh, icons and to, to get a link to your social networks because for me as a visitor it's very interesting to look at uh, the Instagram page or Facebook page yep uh, to read to see the life of the company or a makeup artist so to be honest nowadays is important don't forget to uh, make it the next one should be a face section or blog I call it like here because I think that this is a face of your landing page or a website so it should have uh, interesting colorful uh, background uh, all the images don't forget that they are should be high quality uh, should be a city bottom uh, of course as we have it right here join us yep and we have a heater and actually at the heater we have a sub heater yep so these are the main points uh, the next one uh, structure the structure should be like in chronological way but uh, it depends on of course uh, it depends on your product, it depends on your startup, business, so you need to analyze it, yep. So um, after a menu section, the logo should be a face block, after face block should be about, yep. And it's important because you need to represent your uh, service, your company. Uh, should be if it is an online store there should be a gallery of the products you are selling uh, there should be some media media files there should be videos uh, files uh, it may be cool portfolio of your product so uh, in all the widgets they should be high quality and um, a contact form which is also important because uh, you need to communicate with people so you may love to contact form uh, contact us kind of yep yeah, you may add like extra uh, information uh, like advantages and disadvantages why do you need to choose us yep yeah, some testimonials yep yeah. and like here join us now there should be a contact form um, a footer of course and like here uh, I like uh, always uh, safe and background um, in Google Maps like Google Maps Maps uh, background uh, in block yeah uh, so that's our I would say the key points of cool landing page or a website yep and that's why um, I try to uh, give you some uh, advices and at the end of this tutorial observing video episode uh, I I want to tell you the main advantages of UK. It's very simple to work with, it has many adaptive designs, 
all the results they are visible is simultaneously and online and actually it's intuitive for me these are main points uh, of the service and uh, this is the end of this observing video i wish you good luck i wish you good mood and i'm waiting for your feedback in comments i always waiting maybe the next video will be about your i mean not feedback but maybe you will tell me about your problem or about your experience and uh, i will make a new video for you so thank you for your attention i wish you good mood good vibes and bye